Hey what's going on guys this is 12th Harbinger and welcome to my channel. In this video I am going to give you a F2P guide to clear the new 3.1 spiral abyss easily. If you want to see the full abyss clear with only 4 star units and weapons, you can check out my previous video. Link in description. First and foremost, before starting the abyss check your character builds. I was using the wrong artifacts on my Beidou. She was on 47.4% crit rate this whole abyss run. For 12-1 first half, as soon as I start the challenge I go to the left side of the arena and as you can see they are all coming together. You can use a Nemo unit to further group them. Try to use AOE DPS there as there are a lot of enemies. For the next wave, I just focus on the two Kai Ragi as they are quite annoying for me since I don't have any healer on my team and the other enemies can be easily killed with AOE DPS while you focus on the Kai Ragi as they are quite squishy. Try to kill the Kai Ragi together or the other one will heal himself. Also watch out for the Hydro Aramite as she can deal some very high damage. She keeps moving around so it's not worth chasing her. Instead focus on the Kai Ragi. For 12 one second half, these primal enemies are already close to each other. Just focus on any one of these enemies and the other two will come towards you. You can use AOE DPS here but single target DPS are still viable since there are only 3 and 2 enemies each way. If the enemies turn invisible you need to break these parts and use Electro on the core that will spawn after breaking them. This will paralyze the enemy. In the second wave, two Aramites will spawn at the opposite side of the arena. I start by attacking the mommy Aramite since she is ranged and won't move much. The daddy Aramite will follow you around. When their HP falls below 30%, they will enter enhanced state and summon their Pokemon. During this state they will get elemental resistance and high resistance to interruptions. I suggest you to ignore the creatures and focus on the Aramites as they will have a little amount of HP left. But if you are having trouble dealing with them you can kill the creatures. Doing so will stun the Aramites for 10 seconds and remove their enhanced state. For 12-2 first half, start by focusing on the ruined drake at the left and the other machines will come towards you. Use an AOE DPS here and try to keep them close to clear it faster. Just focus on the ruined drakes the other two will die in the crossfire as they are comparatively squishy. For 12 2 second half, the Magu Kenki will take around 10 seconds to get up. Use that time to fill up your bursts or prepare your supports. Single target DPS like Hu Tao or Yoimiya are great here, or someone like Shangling can also clear it easily. During the first phase, I was saving my Shangling's burst and trying to push it to the second phase with Xingqiu and Guba. After it entered its second phase, I used my Shangling's burst to finish it off. In 12-3 first half, there will be 4 wish apps that are already grouped. You can use a Nemo units to bring them closer. Sucrose's burst actually pushes them away instead of bringing them closer so it's better to use her elemental skill. AoE DPS are favored here. Try to dodge the balls as they will drain your energy. Try to clear this chamber as fast as possible as you will need a lot of time for the next chamber. In 12-3 second half, there's this prism boss that goes invisible. In its invisible state it has 200% resistance to every element. You will need to bring an electro character here. I start by going behind the boss to dodge its first attack. If it summons this type of cores run away from it as they deal a lot of damage. They will stop for a while once they touch you. Use fast attacking characters to break these shooters. I am using Xingqiu's burst to break it faster. Keep dodging their attacks. The shooters are quite easy to dodge as their attacks are very predictable. After breaking the shooters, use Electro on this core and that will paralyze the boss. This is the time to deal damage. Single target DPS are best over here since there's only one boss. Xiangling who is broken in every situation is also a great choice here. If you fail to kill it in first try, repeat the same process to paralyze it and finish it off. Huh. 
You can defeat the boss even without electro characters. You just need to make sure that your characters can deal high damage in a short amount of time. The first sides of all the chambers are favored for the AOE DPS characters, and the second side mostly for single target DPS. The best 4 star DPS characters to use in this abyss will be Shangling and Beidou. There are many DPS characters that you can use for this abyss but these two are my personal favorite. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you managed to clear this floor. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more Genshin Impact videos. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.